and my question is concerning. Earlier you made an allusion to the limitations of human cognition and epistemology and whether or not we are sufficiently justified to determine whether or not God is uh, justified to permit a particular evil from happening. Uh -huh. My question is, why does God not, or why would God not reveal his reasons to mankind for permitting particular evils? Well, I think there's a couple of ways to answer that. Uh, the question was, why doesn't God reveal the reasons for which he permits evil and suffering? Well, now, think about that for a minute. Would that even be possible? Think of the complexity. I mean, is God going to really kind of send a, a telepathic message to all the soldiers at D-Day telling them uh, you know, all of the reasons for the suffering and, and so forth that's going on. Some of the complexity would be so impossible that we, we couldn't even understand it. We couldn't grasp it uh, if he were to do that. It would also turn the universe into a sort of haunted house where every time you stubbed your toe, you got this telepathic message from God, you know, that this is why this is happening. I, I think that's just... It, it's crazy when you think about it. Moreover, think about, here's another thing. It might be self-defeating if God did this. Suppose God told you, well, the reason I'm going to allow your daughter to be killed in an automobile accident or the reason she was killed is because I want to um, bring you and your wife closer together in your marriage through sharing this common grief and, and therefore you'll be greatly used by me. And you... You might be so angry with God for doing that that you would divorce your wife and thereby frustrate his purposes. Do you see what I mean? Some of these could lead to these sort of self-stultifying circles where then he wouldn't have the daughter die in the accident because it didn't bring about the good. So it, it's kind of like Scrooge in Dickens' Christmas Carol when Scrooge says to the spirit of Christmas yet to come, are these the shadows of things that will be or the shadows of things that may be only? And the spirit doesn't answer him. Silence. Why? Well, if the spirit had told Scrooge the truth, no, Scrooge, none of these things are really going to happen. Tiny Tim isn't going to die. We know that from the end of the story. Well, then maybe Scrooge wouldn't have repented, right? But then those things would have happened. So it would lead into this kind of self-stultifying situation. So what has God done instead? Well, this is the wisdom of the book of Job, I think. God doesn't tell Job why he's going through all this. He doesn't tell him the details. What he does show him is that you can trust me as you go through these things. Through the example of Jesus of Nazareth and his death on the cross and the assurances that we have of divine providence and, and control over human history and life beyond the grave, God has given us sufficient assurances and grace to take us through the hard times without the answers. So I think that God has done what is sufficient to enable us to live with suffering um, without this very difficult problem of, of, of telling everybody every reason for which some instance of suffering comes into the world.